a series of I'll do this tomorrow has led to this if you ever want to feel despondent try weeding a farm hello and welcome I'm Christine an expat originally from South Africa I moved to Portugal in October of 21 and I started my journey in search of my forever farm in Portugal. I saw over 30 properties and it took me about six months of searching, but then I finally found the one. This is my adventure as a solo expat on a farm in central Portugal with my two fur kids, Shakti and Shiva. I've never owned or lived on a farm, but I moved to Portugal in the hope of fulfilling a lifelong dream in finding an open space, subsistence farming, and safer, better life. Now that we have found our farm, the second stage of our journey begins. I have to figure out farm life while renovating an agricultural structure to make it habitable and turn it into a comfortable home for me and my fur kids. Follow along our journey. This is Girl Mates Farm. Hello and welcome back to a new video. This week I'll be trying to get back to the outhouse build and hopefully getting a little bit further with it. I don't want to say that I'm going to complete it because things seem to be taking a lot longer than I thought things would take. So let's just see how far I get with the outhouse build. I'm currently sitting in the shade and taking some respite from the sun because it's already midday here. I've been busy on the farm this morning I did some weeding you guys might think that's a lost cause and believe me you're right <laughs> weeding is not fun on a farm but I have these thorns from a horror movie and they're awful so I, I just had to weed as much as I could they were on the trench track of, of my water line to the trees and I needed to trim that down so first I needed to weed those weeds out before I could actually trim the water line again so I've bagged that up and I did that this morning so I'm going to throw that away and then I also gathered up all of the little vine stumps from the lower terrace vineyard this morning I managed to get three beautiful wheelbarrow loads full that's gonna be great for my winter fire burning and um, now I'm hoping to start back on the outhouse build now I've actually been doing quite a, a bit this week I have managed to find a co-op that uh, will take my grapes and that I can actually be part of a wine making process so I didn't think I was going to make wine this year but it turns out that I might just be able to so I don't know how much wine and how much grapes how many kilos I will have to deliver to them but I have to what I do know is that I have to get up very early in the morning pick all of the grapes on the same day deliver it to them and then we'll be making wine that same day and in a couple of months from now about six months from now that should be more or less ready to be bottled and i will take you on the whole process with me i'm very excited about it it's completely new for me so that happened in the last week and uh, i think harvest will be probably in the next week or so so that content will be coming to you in the next couple of weeks as well how i harvest and what happens on that day i'm quite excited some of the other things that's been happening around here is there was a huge fire in the in the big mountain range the Estrela mountains of portugal it lasted well over 12 days they managed to put it out or extinguish it within the first week it then started up again within two days and then just blasted through the country for about eight days thereafter more or less it was devastating it went through farms it obviously went through beautiful forestation lands oh it was quite bad and with the fires obviously a lot of animals escaped so there's a lot of calls at the moment for a lot of stray dogs that are just ending up on people's farms or abandoned dogs abandoned puppies and, and all the like i i had a call like that just the other day so i also raced off to go and find these puppies um 
and when I got there they were the teeny tiniest little things there was no mommy dog in sight apparently they had been there all day in the same spot and they weren't moving and usually that's the case when they're waiting for their, their mommy dog to come back but apparently no mommy dog had come back to them so I was going to take them and foster them for a while probably keep them let's be honest but I was going to foster them for a little while but at the same time a lady arrived from one of the local dog organizations and she offered to take them because she had all the medicine that teeny tiny puppies require so I, I, I thought it would be best that they went off with her but there are just puppies everywhere at the moment abandoned strays it's it's quite hectic so we do what we can i used to work for a couple of organizations in south africa specifically food dogs <laughs> and i will do so again I, i'm hoping to join another organization or maybe a few organizations whilst i'm up here in portugal but we'll see so for now or oh, the other thing that's been keeping me busy is my clients and uh, that has been taking up a lot of my time so i've been trying to do bits and pieces in between where i've either finished my work for the day or i've had a little bit less to do for that specific day so i'm doing as i can where i can at the moment and it's just been busy i very nearly forgot to tell you about the highlights of my week Family of mine came to visit and they were up here for just over a day. I was, I am so blessed that they came to visit and I could spend some time with them. In October this year, it will be a year that I've been in Portugal and a year since I've seen my family. So this was really a blessing and a beautiful day. I took them up to Monsanto village which is known as the most Portuguese village in Portugal and the village is incredible it is just jaw-dropping these houses are built in between these massive granite boulders I don't know how they did it but it's, it's spectacular beautiful 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 village so we spent some time there and then we came back and we spent some time on the farm just catching up having some some wine of course and some beautiful local cheeses and we had a really really great day together i'm so blessed that they came to visit and that was a really really highlight of my week last week so thank you for coming through thank you for coming to visit so let's get back to it let's get back on getting that art house finished End of the first day of the eight planks I prepared and cut for the structure. I managed to use six as two I had to put away as they were going to snap right through the middle. So this is how far we are. It started to take shape. These guys are also wavy and definitely not in straight line but I've tried to do them as straight as possible.
that is as much as I've been able to do this week. I'm hoping to start the floor at least next week and then to start on the inside walls. See you next time.